Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you a bit about the figure 8 knot. Now the figure 8 knot is well known as a simple and effective stopper knot. I've discussed this knot with a relative who both sails and builds sailboats. He basically stated that he could operate a sailboat mostly using the figure 8 knot. So in this video, I'm going to show you just how you can use a figure 8 knot in various situations. So first of all, the most common way for using the figure 8 knot, so as a stopper knot. This is the basic form. You take an end of a piece of rope, and you do a figure 8. So a loop, then behind the standing hand, and back into the first loop. And this is the figure 8 knot. It is a non-jamming stopper knot, so you can fairly easily untie it after you have used it. It prevents your rope from running away from you. So this is the first use and the most common one. The second use for the figure 8 knot is as a means of creating a loop. Now loops are very handy on a boat since you can attach your rope onto various posts and rails. You can also use a loop to dock your boat. So first off, tie a figure 8 knot. So again, an 8 shape, like this, then tuck your working hand into the bottom loop. Like this. Now work in some slack into the working hand so that we can create our loop. So we pull in our standing hand a little bit, let's say like this, and then we work it in into the working hand. Then we take our working hand and we place it under and through the bottom loop of the figure 8 knot. Basically slipping the figure 8. Then we follow the other strand through the figure 8 knot all the way to the standing end. Like this. And with this we have created a figure 8 knot with a loop at the bottom. This is handy since we can now attach the end of our rope onto various objects. There is another way of creating a loop using the figure 8 knot. This time we start off folding our end in order to create a bite. Then, using the bite, we're going to tie a figure 8 knot. So we start off creating a loop, just like in the figure 8 knot. Then, we create a figure 8, passing under the standing end, and finally we tuck the end of our bite into the bottom loop, creating a figure 8 knot,
as well as a loop at the bottom. So we now know how to use the figure 8 knot both as a stopper knot or as a loop. Now the third major application for the figure 8 knot is as a bend. As a bend, the figure 8 knot is used to join two ends of a rope. So the first way of using the figure 8 as a bend is to take one end of your rope and use it to tie a figure 8 knot. Like this. Pick up the second end of a piece of rope and follow the working end all through the knot and out at the standing end. So all we're doing is doubling up the figure 8 knot with a second piece of rope. Like this. With the figure 8 knot, we have now joined two pieces of rope together. The second version of a bend that you can create using the figure 8 knot is the one way sheet bend. So in this one, we first tie a sheet bend. So with one end, we create a bite by folding the end over. With the other end, we pass under and through the bite, around it, and under, like this. So this is the sheet bend. Now the one-way sheet bend continues with our working strand passing under this first loop here, creating what is essentially a figure 8 knot. Tighten it up and you have a secure bend. Now if you remove the bite, you are left with a figure 8 knot. And finally, another way of joining two ends together using a figure 8 knot. This time, the double figure 8 bend. Take one of the ends and use it to create a figure 8 knot. Like this. Pass the other end alongside the working end of the first cord like this. Then use this second end to tie another figure 8 knot. So first a loop. Like this then pass over the standing end, then under and through the loop. And we have a second figure 8 knot. Pull on the two working hands to tighten these two up, then pull on the two standing hands to bring them together. They should line up pretty neatly. And with this you have another way 
of joining two ends together using a figure eight knot. So guys, in this video, I have shown you the figure eight knot as three different types of a knot. So as a stopper knot, as a loop and as a bend. So the figure eight knot is indeed very versatile. Please do comment in the comment section on any other applications for a figure eight knot. With that said, thank you very much for joining me in today's video and I hope to see you next time.